Let me open up my walkthrough. As I mentioned before, we're going to have to start from the beginning again because I, I can't figure out how to save my current progress. I had to not save it, but how to continue from my current saved game because the walkthrough is not directing me. I might have I might have got painted myself into a corner, I guess is what I'm saying. So we're going to start fresh. <clears throat> You yeah, have VGA 256 color only, the English way. I guess also, I guess also the French way, because this is a um, Delphine is a um, it's a French company. But um, we are using we're not even using the the VGA. Of course, we're playing the EGA version. So ho 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 ho. Okay, let us uh, get that going. And I do have to turn the music down a bit for this because it is quite loud. Let me know if it's too loud, too soft, etc. Let's get the let's get this going. It's so glorious. It's so glorious. I just, I get so much enjoyment from watching this part happen that I'm just going to let it happen. Oh, and this is a good time to reorganize this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to re <laughs> reorient the, the frame. How is that music setting? Oh wow, it got really big. Yeah, we're gonna fix that. Oh no. Okay. One moment, please. I will fix. I will fix. Way too big. Way too small. Okay. Let's move the bucket around. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I'm here, okay, good. I love I love that guy. I think that's Hector. So dramatic. I'm just sorry, I'm just taking this moment to readjust everything. Okay, cool. This game is awesome looking. And this effect, it's never conveyed properly on streams, but there is this gorgeous like disorientation effect. Cruise and corpse or something. Okay. Okay, moving on. Yeah, this is the problem. I have. This part is fantastic. I love it. But yeah, that doesn't really look like the inside of a, of a boat. And this is us. That's Raul. But this doesn't look like the guy on the cover. We are. We are Raul. Oop. No, come back. Okay. Okay, good. I think... Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that looked that looked like total butts on stream. Okay, we're gonna start again, like I mentioned from the beginning, because um, I can't my my restore my restoring my current game progress is I think I might be soft locked or something. Okay, so we are going to take the piece of paper on the floor at the side of the ashtray. So this so from background uh, Nicholas Karabujan, he invited us on this cruise and then he died here and stuff. Okay, so evidence. So this is, I do like this interface, although it can be a little picky. Oh, feel the ashes. There's a lot of stale cigarette odor gross. But the, the, the challenge here is sometimes it's hard to tell what you can take and interact with specifically. Here's our piece of paper. I love all this. We can unfold it. But then we also have to read it separately. Read. Okay, 8 p.m. at the bar. So the interesting about this game, it starts at 8 o'clock a.m. 
thinking about um, Colonel's Bequest, how Colonel's Bequest starts after dinner, so it's already the evening. This game starts at 8 a.m. in the morning, and then this this meeting is supposed to be 8 p.m. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of time to cover. I only got to like 9.20. See, look, it's already... It's 8.10 now. I got to 9.20, and then it got stuck. Okay. Also, a uh, nice thing about this um, is that there's a map that we can use for fast travel. And it says here that we need to go to the bar. So we're going to do that. And a lot of the stuff... Oh, it's so loud. A lot of the stuff that I did do in the game up till now... I did do it, but I guess there's a few things I must have missed because I just can't progress. Um, show the piece of paper to the barman. Just to quickly show... Okay, so let's see. Piece of paper. Show. So if you're in the room with somebody else, you can show. Yeah. Oh. That didn't work. Show to this guy. Okay. Okay, so the, okay, so this was last night. Gotcha. Father Fabiani arrived. Uh, they spoke low. Father looked furious, left ten minutes later. Okay. So we know to ask Father Fabiani questions which we did do when I played the first time. Oh, uh, oh music is overpoweringly loud. Okay, I can fix that. One moment. Definitely too. Okay, so how's that? Okay, let me know. You play this uh, TV prom? Did you play the VGA or the EGA version? What? I don't remember him doing that. Okay, yeah, he did. Mass book. Time is a go flying. Okay, eight twenty already. Way too slow. <laughs> okay, okay, let's uh. Okay, how's that? Okay. Uh, 820. Go to Father Fab Fabiani Dick Schmock's cabin. Okay, so we'll do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, just look at this. Look at the prayer book. Read it. Oh, yeah, I found a letter. Okay. Take the letter. Great. Letter. Read. I have some very offensive information about you. Some bad rumors, which we did realize uh, in our first attempt at playing this game that it's a gambling habit, uh, which is kind of does remind you of Colonel's Bequest. Lord Bishop Moretti. It was on the oh on the Amiga Gacha TV Prime. Yeah, it kind of was, probably would have been VGA-ish, maybe with some extra colors. Okay, wait. So now we go to go to Fabiani. Actually, can I just can I talk to this guy? Oh, we can't talk to him. Okay, so we're supposed to go to Father Fabiani's room. Oh my gosh, where? There it is. Okay. Hey, arrogant, arrogant logician. <laughs> Good to see you. I think I heard some kind of chime. Bill Coon, um, we'll hear it again shortly, I think. So I'll try to make it play all the way through. I just, the, the art in this game, I'm just in love with it. Look at this lighting. I can't, I, I won't ever get over this. But yeah, this is stuff that we've actually done before, so I don't feel too bad about. If this game is going to be that specific about um, getting stuck, I don't, I don't mind consulting a walkthrough. Okay. Okay, so he found all of Father Fabiano's gambling, his gambling kit. Okay. So we, sh we should hear the chime soon, Bill Coon. So give us a second. No, there's no chime. Maybe on the hour it might chime, Bill Coon. So I'm going to close this, push it back. Okay. Go to upper... Okay, oh, go to dining room and return the prayer book to Father Fabiani. Father Fabiani. See, I'm starting to get a little bit hoarse now. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't want to check the time. Go to dining room. 
The dining room is one of my favorite rooms. Yeah, EGA Prime, every game I've been playing so far on my stream, I've been playing EGA, and I just, I love it. This, yeah, look at this. Look at the dithering here. Look at the colors they're getting. I always talk about my favorite dithering patterns are the light green and the light cyan, or the dark green and the dark cyan. They create these beautiful kind of um, aqua-ish colors. Yes, I have your prayer book. <clears throat> Look how beautiful that is. Okay. And I just go through <clears throat> all this. He's a close friend. It's none of your business. Oh, were we not supposed to show him the letter? I wonder if that's a problem. Haha. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Hopefully that doesn't wreck anything. Yeah, no chime yet. But yeah, this is gorgeous. This set of this lighting. Red wine. Observe good little meal. What is this? Delicious juicy fruit. Map again. We need to go upstairs to talk to Suzanne. Upper deck. Yes, TV Prime, of course, me as well. Colonel's Bequest is my absolute favorite. I love this, like, the horizon as the boat rocks up and down. We have to ask Suzanne about herself. I love Suzanne. Look how elegant. Look at this beautiful hair. Go to dining room, return. Okay, go to upper deck, talk to Suzanne. Okay. I'm just going to ask her all this stuff. Can I just show, can I show everyone this stuff? Oh, I'm not supposed to. I'm too scared. Ask you, Suzanne. Sure she is. Okay. Go talk to Suzanne. Okay. And see, what for whatever reason, like knowing that advances the clock. So this has got quite a lot in common with Colonel's bequest. Now we have to go to smoking lounge, which is also my sec my my other favorite room. Okay. Yeah, arrogant logician. There is like there are so many colors in that hair, and the way that the light is playing over it, it's yeah. Yes, TV Prime. I completely one hundred percent agree with you about Colonel's bequest. I don't know if you were here when we talked about one short eyes video about about the game. I heartily recommend it. I'm sorry if you were here already, but I think that bears repeating. One showed I did an amazing video about some of the secrets of Colonel's Bequest. Yeah, juicy fruit is going to move you. Fruit tinges so soft it get right to you. Yes, Bill okay. I was thinking exactly that. So this is my second favorite. Second other favorite room. Okay, so Tom. I love how he's furiously reading the newspaper. Oh, he doesn't look that happy. I love all these close-ups. I don't know why they decided to dither, put dithering in his, his shirt. Let's ask about himself. Okay, so he's a lawyer. Let's talk about Fabiani's suitcase. Oh wow, so yeah, he knows, the lawyer knows he's a gambler. Fabiani's vice. <laughs> Seeing you lose a lot of money. Okay, and it's also. Can I show him this stuff? Or am I not supposed to? I just can't resist. Okay, he's not heard anything. We have to ask about Suzanne. I like Suzanne. I, I like her better than this guy. His he has fewer colors in his hair. Okay. She likes to gossip and is a close friend of Fabiani. Oh. Ah, we're getting all the we're getting the scoop. Oh. 
Suzanne's a lost cause? Hmm. Okay. So, hold on. This is, this, is, this is a chime nine. Maybe we'll get a chime. Okay, we no chime. Okay. Go to the main deck, portside bow. Open the door, bottom door to meet Julio. Matthews. Main. This is main deck? Portside bow? Portside bow. Okay. I love this. How they show him walking. Well, you would never see that in a pixely, a pixely like Sierra game or anything like that. Because he's kind of like the art's apparently supposed to be vector based. So you get this amazing scaling of the characters, and that's why they must have kept them so simple. It's glorious. It's really glorious. So we have to go... Oh, right. We have to go to this... I don't know, this is go to the bottom door. I guess this is the bottom door. Oh! Wow, we got to see a weird cutscene. Wow, I've, okay, I never saw that before. Wow. Yeah, Bill Coon, with this walkthrough, I feel like I didn't miss anything previous. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like pretty good about how I played it the first time through. Because um, some of the stuff just seems like it's very time-sensitive. Okay. Talk to Julio about himself. Julio. Yeah, she didn't seem that happy with you. I want to ask him about everyone anyway, just because. That's the lawyer. The lawyer doesn't like Julio. I probably don't have... Anyway, I can't help myself. No. Fabiani. Oh yeah, I just think he's nice. Never seen the letter. Saw each other often for a time. Oh. Ooh. I like his little hat, too. Oh, interesting. Suzanne, under medical treatment, El Padre was in charge of watching over her. He even insisted that Suzanne... I wonder what her medical problem was. Oh. I don't know nada. This does not concern me. Delicate health. Spent several months in the hospital. Okay. Right, we already asked that. Okay, K Carol Bujin is the guy whose murder opened up, opened this game in our investigation. He did not want her to come. Niklos and, and Suzanne's relationship. Oh. Uh-oh, so that's not good. He doesn't know what kind of sickness she had. Yeah, everyone <laughs> got silly. Got silly. It's, it's gorgeous. It's so stylish. Therefore, you're not a fan of the vector character, but the backgrounds and character sprites are rad. He, this is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Is he drunk or is he just rolling his R's? Bill, could, I think Julio is supposed to be like a Latino, potentially, but I don't know. The R's is a very strange thing. I wonder if they had this had a voiced version. Suzanne's confinement. Oh boy, so something's wrong with Suzanne. Where is the ship, Bill Coon? I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Arrog arrogant logician asks if I wonder if this had different uh, sound effects in DOS Tandy mode. I I'm not sure. I, I'm not honestly. I feel like the sound is my least favorite part of this game. Hector is the butler who found Carabujian. Various meeting at the bar. You didn't say anything. Yeah, I think I'm, some of these are like a Spanish words. I suppose I'm not. I don't know any Spanish, but I'm assuming. Okay. Hmm. 
Right. So that's more time. We're just buzzing right through this. So I this is past the part where I was stuck. So the, yeah, I um, my my speaking to Julio was the last thing I did on my own playthrough, and, and that's why I couldn't make any more of progress. We've already gotten past that time. Okay, back to the smoking lounge. Oh, pero means but or however. <laughs> no enchiante espanol que lastima. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Oh, no one's here. Take the, take the paper left under the chair? This is a problem because I don't see any paper. Oh no. There's supposed to be paper under this chair. Smoking lounge, take the paper. Even with it appears that it is easy to, to dead end this game. Because I'm supposed to see a paper. And I don't see a paper. There's supposed to be a paper under the left chair. That's a problem. 930, right? Map. I mean I don't mean map, I mean time. Read. Okay, it's 9.30. So it's 9.30. Go to smoking lounge. Take the paper under the left chair. Do you find a piece of paper under a chair? Sounds like something from Crush Glory 1. Except I don't see any paper. And I'm... It's not that... It's not that one. Uh-oh. A little rattan table. There's no paper. There's no paper. There's no paper. Oh, is this the left chair? This is not the left chair. Rattan stools. That pink thing, BMD nerd. Good to see you, by the way. Oh, this? That's paper? Mm, thank you. I, I thought I was mousing over that, but apparently I wasn't. Take. Paper. Read. I wrote receipt for a diamond Cartier bracelet costing 3000 to Mr. Thomas Logan. So that's Tom. That's Tom the lawyer. Pixel hunt. Yeah, very much a case of hunt the pixel. I don't usually imagine paper to be pink and brown, but that's I guess that's my own fault. Okay. Go to dining room. Talk to Fabiani about Nicholas and Suzanne's relationship. Sure. I should probably save. I'll save. Save game. So let's save over start part two. Let's save this as walking through. Yes. Okay. And we have to go to, to dining room. I think dining room is just this way. Oh, oh, hello. We're not supposed to talk to you. We're not talking to you. Bye. No. That's beautiful, though. You, I love the simplicity of this. Use. Okay. We need to go to dining room. Oh, we're pretty close. <laughs> Betty Human says, If you were playing this in VGA as God intended, perhaps the pixel hunting would be a bit easier. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. It's my own fault. Okay. Apparently this game is from the What is LucasArts Verb School. Yeah, I was not a fan of um, the, the Last Crusade setup. Okay, nothing Tandy related to Arrogant Logician says. Adlib, PC Speaker, Roland, MP32, and Lapsy I? Lapsy 1? Sound Blaster. Just use 3 channel PC Speaker. Yeah, the simplicity. The simplicity of that, and the, it was so natural. It does remind me of, because this, this um, software company they made um out of this world and stuff like that and so you can totally see how that works and how the similarities of the animated sprites um would be would cause you to think they're connected okay so let's talk to fabiani fabiani i shouldn't say that in an italian accent okay let's ask fabiani about S suzanne Ooh. You've been good friends for a long time, indeed. Oh, I don't like how he's smiling about it. Uh, 
Okay, what about Suzanne's invitation? Okay. <clears throat> right. Nicholas and Suzanne's relation. This is the one we're supposed to ask about. Okay, so they argued a lot. They spent their time arguing. Just yesterday, what? Okay, their dispute. Ooh. Suspicious. Yes, so Delphine Software International made made quite a few good ones. So this is, yeah, they made Out of This World. They made another adventure game called Future Wars. They made this. They made a, they made a few. Okay, what were they arguing about? Oh, you're not going to tell us? I don't see what you're getting at. She's a brave girl. Okay, cool. Go to the bar and talk to Suzanne about herself. Okay, thank you for your help. So that didn't come... Oh no, so the time did pass. That's okay. We're, it's, we're on time, we're on schedule. We're going to go back to the bar. We're going to talk to glorious Suzanne. I wonder if the, the, the sprite will change to her sitting or something. She's so elegant. Oh, you're so great, Suzanne. Is that your drink? Can I see your drink? This drink looks like it has some combination. So it's like a cocktail. Can I drink it? Suzanne. Suzanne. Mon chéri, ma chérie. Oh my gosh, they changed it! They changed it! They changed her sprite. Oh, I, oh, she's great. She's great. Okay. Talk to Suzanne about herself. You, Suzanne. Very good friend of the Carbujan family. They don't. The walkthrough does not ask me to ask her about everything, but I can't help myself. Okay, we did do that. There, they argue. <laughs> yeah, get silly. The way that Father Fabiani was leaning and smiling makes me think he's either really excited or one of the evil priests from those exorcist movies. That kind of smile... I, I, I'm fishy. I find that fishy. The Japanese word for suspicious is ayashi, which I, I love that word. Ayashi. We're not on good terms. Oh, you don't want to talk? Oh, I like how her face turned changed. Let's talk about your illness. Don't pay attention to this. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Wow. We're just buzzing on through. More time. Okay, next. Okay. Go to our room, Julio and me's room. Use. The thing about this game that I will say as a criticism is that, yeah, it doesn't... It's kind of hard to tell what, what to do and when to do it. So now there's something on the ground here. You see that? I, I finally... I saw those six pixels. Go to, okay, take the key on the floor out to the right side of the golf bag. Gotcha. Examine. A key. Must have been Julio then. Take. Oh, face camera. Oh, good. Yeah, that does unfocus itself. Sometimes I do have to fix it, so I'm glad I didn't. Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Time passes. Okay. Go to Nicholas Karabujan's office, which is where this all started. I'm really grateful for this map. Someone asked me, someone gave me feedback about the Crimson Diamond demo and asked me if I was going to include a, a map that, that would let you fast travel. And I, I haven't really been planning on it, but I guess I, I wonder what you guys think about fast travel maps in adventure games. I, I was thinking I'd rather have people have to move through the spaces, etc. But I'm open to, to the idea. Okay, 
so I'm going to save it again. Save. Walking through. Get Sally's. Where can someone get a copy of this game? That's another tricky thing. This game is not available on Steam. It's not available on on GOG. It doesn't seem to be available anywhere. Although on GOG, I believe there's one of those um, request things you can click on to tell GOG that you'd like them to add it to their catalog. So I did do that. But um, yeah, it's, it's this is kind of one of those ones that is difficult to acquire and give people money for for it. <laughs> so um, I would invite you to use your uh, resourcefulness. Eden Witt says, I think, it, I think it also depends on how large the lodge and surrounding area is. I get the sense it isn't super large. No, it's not super large, Eden Witt, actually. TV Prime says, games like this, it works. Games like Bequest, I feel, works best with exploration. Yeah, th this one... So how do you feel the TV Prime, how do you feel that these this is different in terms of, like, exploration? Do you... Because... I guess because most of this feels like the clock advances because of conversations. And in Colonel's Bequest, it's kind of like when you encounter stuff happening, st um, the clock advances. So I guess that's why you're saying that uh, this kind of game... It's good with a fast travel. Uh, Bilkin says, The only adventure game I like fast travel in is Shapir in Quest for Glory 2. Because there are just streets in between. Maybe the dig, but it's been too long for me to remember that one clearly. Yeah, I'd like to know what pe how people feel. Okay. Okay, so. Pull up. It's locked. Lock is waiting for its key. So this apparently is something we can do. So this key, insert in this. I would like it to say that I did. I know it didn't work. And, and the walkthrough is actually helpful. It says, position the cursor directly over the keyhole on the desk or it won't open, which I thought I did. Okay, there it is. Oh, yay. Okay, roll desk opened. No, no, I don't want to close it. No, I don't want to close it. Oh my gosh. Jewel case. Jewel case is like a CD, right? Jewel case? Oh, wow. It looks like molten lava. What, what is that supposed to be? What? Open the jewel case. Examine the bracelet clasp. It looks really dangerous. Okay, examine clasp. Uh, look at the... Uh, <laughs> look at that thumb. Wow, okay. There are initials on the clasp of the bracelet. RJ. Who's RJ? Okay, TV Prime says, the fact that you're in a ship, for example, small enclosed environments, quick travel doesn't hurt the experience. Get Sellius says, in my opinion, fast travel is good if the game has a small amount of locations like in some visual novel games or shorter adventure games. I don't mind if there's a speed up like double clipping. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, double clicking makes you walk faster. Yeah, so some adventure games will let you double click the edge of the screen and it will just um, transition to the next screen. That's true. But games such as Bequest, I find it more entertaining exploring all the environments at a slower pace for immersion, if that makes any sense. That's that's the hope. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for Crimson Diamond as well. Yeah, the, the, the animation is extremely fast. Yes, this must be the bracelet that we saw the receipt for, the Cartier, for $3,000. I love this thumb. Look how many colors. Look at the, just the loving dithering. Great. Apparently there's something else in here that I can't see. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. No, no, wait, no. I do think so. Oh my gosh, I gotta open it again. Okay, so there is something in here besides... Take the thank you note from the roll top desk. I... No? 
No. Is it in one of the drawers now? Then it wasn't in there before? Okay, that door is empty. We looked at these before, but I can't for the life of me find a thank you note in the roll top. It's, is it this blue thing? Yes, okay, it is. I had thought I was clicking on it once again. Okay, TV Prime says, but yes, I agree. Small features such as a faster walk speed would be a better fit overall quick over quick travel than quick travel. Just my opinion. Yeah, kind of, that, that's what, um, thank you note. I love all these papers and the fingers and stuff. Okay, dear Nicholas, great emotion that last Sunday I received a testimony for your immense generosity. Beg you, dear Nicholas, to accept from me on behalf of my parishioners my sincere and infinite gratitude to your devoted servant, Father Fabiani. I love the paper, too. Look how beautiful this is. It's a really good use of cyan. Okay. So close, I guess, close, close. We'll save it again. Uh, it's 11.30. So that's us and that's time. I'm really, I feel really good about the progress we've made in the game so far. I'm going to save this as walk through latest. Yes, I confirmed the choice. Fantastic. Okay. So next time we get to play this, we'll continue on with this glorious walkthrough. This game does feel super tricky without it, um, and I don't want to have you guys watch me struggle through it, so we're going to just go right to the walkthrough again um, when we play it next, because this one does seem tricky to get through um, just by, by trying to figure it out on my own, but yeah. We are going to find someone to raid. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. But let's go to, let's actually go, let's just um, take ourselves to maybe a really nice part of the ship I, I like I like my cabin let's go there a bit of music it's not the trickiest game I've played it's not but it's one of those ones where yeah it's kind of hard to figure out what to do next and where to go um, because it doesn't really indicate that too well but I don't know maybe, maybe I will try to <laughs> play it from here straight on but I, I certainly don't mind um, just going through it just to show you guys what it looks like and finish it and, and have that in 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 the can in in the can yeah in the in the can is I think what we agreed on right yeah and and so that we can have it and so I don't get I don't repeat myself and get stuck too much all that 